francophone, deux fois président, passer le pouvoir à un anglophone. Si on était bien au pays, est-ce qu'on allait prendre la route de l'aventure Après ça, le président, oh, un pauvre qui vote pour celui qui l'a rendu pauvre. Si on était bien au pays, est-ce qu'on allait prendre la route de l'étranger Political broadcast by myself, Maître Mola Alet Ndiveli Singh, the leader of British Cameroon National Party. Today, I come to look on to why do we pay taxes to governments? Why? A lot of people don't question why they pay taxes to government. They just think it's an obligation. But there's some revelation that I would like to tell most of you, especially to the people of the Cameroons in Africa. To pay tax is a social contract with a government. However, when citizens pay taxes to governments, the government need to have an objective in order to use those taxes. Today, I want to talk about, in the Camerons, is the government fit for purpose? Do people need to pay taxes to the government of the Cameroons, taking into consideration for more than 60 years how their CNU rebranded CPDM is running the Cameroons. At the end of this video, you will make that choice. But I must also remind you that the reason, one of the reasons rather, we had the American War of Independence is because the American colonies, they were not represented in the British Parliament. And they started this. No rep representation, no taxation. No representation, no taxation. No representation, no taxation. In the Cameroons, are you represented? Do you see your president? Does he go out to do his duties and function? The answer is no. The parliamentarians, do they represent you? Look at British Cameroon, Northwest and Southwest region. We have been having crisis upon crisis. None of the members of parliament or senators are talking about it. Do they represent you? No. So do you need to pay tax? That's the point today. If you look at the constitution of the Camerons, it is clear that the government will use their resources in order to distribute it to all its citizens, individuals. But when you look at the Camerons, some places have light. Some they have waters, others don't. Some have airports, some don't. So why do we keep on paying tax, all of us, when we don't have the same facilities? Do we need to pay tax? Why do people pay taxes to the government? Okay, I'll give you some five reasons why people pay taxes to government. The first one is, to fund public services. You know public services like healthcare, public safety, education, social care, social care service, transport. That's one of the reasons why people pay taxes. If you look at the Camerons, when it comes to healthcare, healthcare you have to have access to medication. When I was growing up in Boya, we never used to pay for medication. Hospital were free, but today, Hospital, people pay a lot of things to the hospital. So, to me, you don't have access to medication in the Cameroons. So, why are you pay, paying taxes? Again, funding public service might be like roads. Some places in the Cameroons, like Douala or Yaoundé, they have roads. Not everywhere, but they have roads when you compare it to 
Oshengingo, you compare it to Oyumo Jok, you compare it to Wum Kambe, Kikaikilaki, other parts in the Cameroons. When you compare it, you know those places they have some roads. So there is no law in the Cameroons that say Yaounde and Douala should have roads and other parts in the Cameroons should not have roads. So why do you pay tax when you don't have roads? You don't have public safety. The duty of the government is in the constitution of the Cameroons is to protect the people for you to walk safely in the street. Today they kidnap people in the Cameroons. They chop people's head. They rape women and children. Whose duty? is uh, the duty of a government rather is to make sure that the public is safe so you don't blame criminals you fight crime and you fight the causes of crime so it's the government carrying out its duty and objective by using taxpayers money in that light the answer is no so why do you pay taxes another reason again why people pay taxes in a democratic government is to promote economic stability. Economic stability by boosting employment. If you look at the government of the Cameroons, I don't know how many jobs they have created since they have been in power for over 60 years. CDC was a, belongs to British Cameroons. It was created is it in 1947. So, when we want to boost employment, the government of the Cameroons doesn't create jobs. If you have something like an airport, it can facilitate the creation of jobs. Roads, it can facilitate the creation of jobs. But we don't have roads. We don't have motorway. For over 60 years, the CNU rebranded CPDM, the do-nothing government, the non-functional government, they don't know how to govern. So why are we paying taxes? To encourage growth. People should learn new skills on how to run the economy. To the government do that? No. All of our resources, CDC, other resources, they only export it. Instead of doing what we call industrialization, to manufacture our product, to make the raw materials, to put them into finished product, the government doesn't do that. So why are we paying taxes? The third point again, why people pay taxes in a democratic government is ensuring social fairness and equity. This, this one is in the preamble of the constitution of the Cameroon. That's redistribution of wealth. Financing social welfare program like housing, healthcare, subsidies, unemployment benefit. Do the government of La Republic du Cameroon do this? No. Redistribution of wealth means when you take our things like Glencoe, other contracts that they have signed on natural resources, Savannah Energy, you have to redistribute it. If there's one street light in Yaounde, there should be one street light to in Balinyonga. If there's one reference hospital in Douala, there should be reference hospital everywhere in the nooks and crannies in the Cameroons. That's redistribution of wealth. People don't need to travel to Yaounde because they are sick to take chemotherapy. If they don't redistribute the world, that is against the spirit of the constitution of La Republic du Cameroon. The fourth point why people pay taxes is supporting national defense defense projects that's to shield the population from outside danger that's the essence you have national defense not to have military to kill your own people like what is happening in british cameroon northwest and southwest they are using the national military to kill their own citizens that's not the function of defense when you have internal crises like in the Cameroons, British Cameroon, Northwest and Southwest, you use police. You talk with your people. You don't use military to kill them. You can also use uh, military. People pay taxes too so that you can preserve the country's sovereignty and security. But however, since we are in SEMAC, 
which have joined sovereignty with other countries in Africa, controlled by France. So we are we don't have we are not a sovereign country. So it's impossible. It's just a window dressing exercise. We are not independent. The de facto president of Cameroon, President Macron, runs the country. We saw how he went to Chad to install a new president. So they control the country. And the fifth point I would like to talk, why should people pay taxes? Is to foster civic responsibility. Civic responsibility like for the common good of the nation, which is a concrete way to show your citizenship. But however, do we have a common good in the Cameroons? Do we have anything that we can say, okay, this is Cameroon thing that all of us, we sit to eat and join together. It doesn't exist. For over 60 years, we have tried to force, force integration. And what's that integration? To make us to be learning Napoleon Bonaparte, fishing in Japan. We don't have anything Cameroonian. We are of different ethnicity. And that is why we of British Cameroon National Party, we are calling for ethnocultural democracy. We always talk about unity. Unite about what? When you talk about unity in the United Kingdom, it means Scottish culture must be respected. Welsh tribe must be respected. Irish tribe must be respected. English tribe must be respected. But when we talk about national unity in the Cameroon, what? Unite for what? For nepotism? For one size fit all? For the same people being ministers? For people remaining in power, the same people being ministers for what, for 50 years? So what do we talk about? What are we uniting? You have to see, like in England, they have something that unites them. It's the common law. What unites us in Cameroon? Gendarmerie, B, beating lawyers, beating teachers, beating our um, students in the university. What unites us? Oh, you sit there every day. Football. You don't have electricity in your house. You talk about football. No water, you talk about football. Um, no modern hospital, you talk about football. No road, you talk about football. No, you don't have food, or you're not sure of having three square meals a day, you talk about football. What is football? Football is an entertainment. I was in the Camerons. The streets are so dirty. I took video and I called people to join me so that we can clean our streets, so that we can make sure that the dirtiness in the country should not affect our health. Nobody joined me. I was the only one doing it. So my people, wake up. Wake up. Ask yourself, do you contribute taxes for a government to embezzle it? Ask yourself that question. Because if you give money to the government to make sure that they protect you for your security, maintain law and order, economic assistance, to create jobs, to redistribute wealth. If they don't do it, it means you don't need to pay the taxes. It's there in the constitution of the Cameroon. If they cannot redistribute the wealth of the country, create infrastructure, roads, grow the economy, create employment, you don't need to pay the taxes. If you don't have members of parliament or senators that they can talk and represent you and talk about your daily problem, then you don't need to pay taxes. If the president and the ministers and the gendarmes and the bees and the said they are beating you, attacking you, stopping you from talking, then you don't need to pay the taxes. No representation, no taxes. These are the things we need to know. What we have, every government, is a social contract. We have given some of our liberties to the government to protect us. But today, look at World Bank report, Amnesty International report, U.S. State Department report, Human Rights Watch report, all of them, women are not safe in our countries. Children are not safe in our country. The health service is next to zero. But when you look at the government of the Cameroons, they have scandals upon scandal. Um, Cam Gate, you have Kovi Gate, Olembe Gate. You see government officials, like they said, Eko Eko, they kill their citizens, Martin and Zogo. They kill Wazizi. Our people are not free to walk the street. So why do you pay taxes? That is why British Cameroon National Party believe 
They are the only political party, the genuine opposition, that can replace the CNU rebranded CPDM. And they can use your money more judiciously to make sure that we respect the country, we respect our citizens, and we put citizens first. We are going to make La Republic and British Cameroon great again. We are going to use your money for the betterment of the lives of our people. And ladies and gentlemen, don't pay tax if the government use the tax or they embezzle the money. You don't have a duty to pay that tax. So once more, this has been Maitre Mola Alex Diveli Singh scrutinizing and holding the government to account. So ladies and gentlemen, this has been a party political broadcast. Have a great day.